Hey everybody, it's been a while, um, but it's been a bit of a lull here in central Indiana for large tournaments. Um, but I have three tournaments that I'm going to in the next day and a half or so. Um, just going to a local tournament um, over at our local shop, Gamer Dojo. And then I'm going to Tag Team Collectibles in Kokomo for a win -a box tournament for Paradox Rift. And then I am also going to uh, P2 Collectibles on Saturday for their League Challenge. And for all three of those, I believe I'm going to be playing Guard of War EX. It's a deck that I want to get better at, so I'm going to commit to playing it for all three tournaments and seeing how I do and how I improve. So Locals at Dojo is over. Um, I played Gardevoir and I went 0-3. Um, I played Isaiah in the um, mirror match and I made a game ending error uh, because I benched a Gardevoir on the very last turn when I had two prizes left, like a Gardevoir EX, like I evolved into it. Um, so that kind of cost me the game. And then I lost to Block Lack Stall because I benched Luminion like a moron. And then the final game against Michael playing Maridon, I um, whiffed a Guardi EX at some point in the game, like turn three, I think. Um, and that cost me the game because he was able to ampy very much twice. So I couldn't recover from that. Um, so now we're headed over to Tag Team uh, Collectibles in Kokomo to try our luck again with Gardevoir. I feel like the metagame for it will be a lot better. Um, so we'll give it a shot. Everybody just finished up a tag team collectibles for their win a box. It wasn't really a win a box, it was more of a just win a certain amount of packs based on your ranking. Um, I ended up taking the victory. Um, it was a nice um, turnaround from locals this evening when I went 0 3. I went 4 0 here with Guard of War after making some changes and talking to a good friend Isaiah, aka Popey's Art, uh, about the list because he is a better Guardy player than I. Um, so, from his list that he sent me, I cut a card for Klefki, which really helped me in uh, this tournament because I had um, two Chen Pao's and a Lost Tina, so that really hindered their setups um, on their front. And then I played a Professor Turo scenario to be able to pick up my Pokemon. Um, it really helped me be able to get out of a bind where in the finals match, I was able to pick up my Screamtail and dump all the energies off of it and then move them to a new um, Gardevoir going into the active spot to be able to knock out and continue adding pressure after he established Manaphy, which I think was pretty, pretty dope. So going through my rounds, round one I went up against a junior playing Chen Pao. Um, they had a really good understanding of the deck and it was a really hard fought battle. Um, but I was able to um, come out in the end after he Ionos me to two. I find the perfect cards to be able to close it out. Um, round two I play against um, Lost Tina and they kind of misunderstood how Klefki works because Klefki only works if it's in the active spot, right? So it was just sitting on my bench after they bossed around it, but they thought it applied everywhere. So they kind of just spent four turns like not doing anything. So I was able to exploit that and really just kept up in the prize race. And then round three, I played against Mew VMAX, which was probably the hardest game of the night because I prized my Klefki, which really sucked. Um, but I was able to close it out after some careful maneuvering with Professor Turo and then using Screamtail to target um, the Mew VMAXs, whether they were in the active or in the bench and forcing him to psychic leap over and over, um, making him dump Meloetta with Collapse Stadium was really nice. Um, and I was able to do a, I believe I did a 1-3-2 
surprise map, um, so that really worked out. And then in the finals, I played against Chen Pao, and Screamtail put in a ton of work in that game because they didn't get Mana Fee established until like turn four. So I was able to just pick off Frigi Baxes before he could find Bax Caliber. Um, he kept Poke stopping away his Bax Calibers, which really sucked to see. Uh, he was also playing an Iron Bundle and a Maluza in his deck, which I think is pretty sick. They're nice uh, two prize options, or one prize options rather, to be able to um, establish a one prize prize trade and a board state where you're not stuck using Chen Power over and over. So I thought that was pretty dope. Um, taking the victory over this tournament felt really nice. It felt good to take a victory for once. Um, I got a lot of packs of Paradox Rift and some even some packs of Evolving Skies, which is pretty nice. So we're going to the League Challenge tomorrow. It is, uh, I think, yeah, almost 3 a.m., so I'm going to go home. It's almost a spooky hour, so i got to get home soon. It's a brand new day. Uh, time for the P2 Challenge over at P2 Collectibles. I'm probably still going to play Guardi today after my victory last night. Um, but I'm really scared of Iron Hands, so I'm thinking of backtracking to Mew, but depends on who's there and what's going to be in the room. If I see a lot of Iron Hands, I might not play Gardevoir, but maybe I'll just stay the course and see if I can pull it out, but it's time to get some coffee. Round one here at the Cabin Collectibles yeah. P2 Challenge. I'm here with Brad. He's a cool guy. I'm all right. They um, call me Redbeard. They call him Young Redbeard. Um, round one just finished. I beat Chris playing Iron Valiant Ente. It was really close. I had some really fortuitous draws to get there at the end. Um, the Professor Turo really came in handy because I was able to pick up the screen field that had a bunch of energy on it or a bunch of damage on it to prevent it from getting yoga looped or uh, pinged with tachyon bits. And Cape's pretty nice too. Cape's pretty nice too. Uh, last turn I top decked Iono and then iono into Cape to be able to put Screamtail back down and knock out something with Screamtail. Funny enough, I, I won my match to the Turo as well. He, Turo's uh, a busted card. He bosses ordered my uh, Luminion to strand me for a couple turns because his Iron Valley was stuck up, or his uh, Iron Hands was stuck. I'm like, oh, okay, wait, <laughs> Turo does things. <laughs> so. Turo picks up cards. Turo's lit as a quarterback. I'm glad they reprinted AZ, man. Such a good, such a cool, such a cool card. All right, time for round two. You're looking at the biggest idiot right here. I am a moron. <laughs> I lost to Joe because I gave him a two prize penalty when he had two prizes left because I drew with, <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. I drew with Greninja when I had a Kalefki in the active, like a moron. So, yep, um, we're 1-1. One, one. It's kind of like a middle ground here. I went 4-0 last night and 0-3 the tournament before and now we're here doing mid. I am 2-0 and I have to play Justin. So. Well, he's playing Roaring Moon, so have I'll fun. watch the whole match. Just finished up the P2 challenge. I ended up going 2-1, getting fourth. Um, I played against Ella in the last round and I dumped her. Uh, she started Mew EX and then I ordered and couldn't find another basic. So then I just um, was able to high roll into a turn two Candy Guardian EX and then uh, Psychic Embrace 2 energy onto it and then manual attach to do 190 and knock it out. Um, I ended up getting 4th. I don't think it'll count towards my challenges because I have other 4th places. I think uh, I'm, I've done at least 6 challenges so I don't think that'll, that'll count but how'd you do Brad? I don't know. Michael got 2nd. Stole it from me. By resistance. Third. By resistance, right? By resistance. Yeah. And Joseph kept knocking out my Charmander. <laughs> it's rude. That's rude of him. And yeah, that's a successful weekend of Pokemon, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs>